my dearest Kinsey, Audrey Langan. Here we are, we are at the day we have anticipated and prayed for for the past few years. A mere 1,220 days ago, we began this journey and every day since, I have grown in love for you. I know that our future will be full of happiness and joy. I know that we will continue in love for the rest of our lives. I will love you until death do us part. I will love you in the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. I pray that God will guide us in wisdom and that he will continue to grow us together in a love that surpasses understanding, always reminding us that love never ends. I vow to lead in love with patience and kindness. Lastly, I vow to love you and to be faithful to you our entire life together. Until the day God calls us home to take us with him. I love you always and forever. <laughs> love your husband, Paul. Pollyanna, I rejoice in the love that I have for you. I am overwhelmed with how much I feel known and loved by you. You are a leader and protector, strongly rooted in Christ. You exude joy as you sacrificially serve and care for others. I love seeing you grow into the man God intended you to be and will stand by you through the joys and trials. Today is the Lord's day. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Never was much good at hoping Until you took my heart and tore it open Never understood what love was Until I took your hand with the load above us And then you caught flame like a wildfire You came running to my life And you light up the dark but I can't see how you belong to we started doing homework together and the subject just so happened to be chemistry. <laughs> Proverbs 18, 22 says that he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Uh, God gives this instruction to husbands in Ephesians chapter 5. He says, husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word, so that he might present the church to himself in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. In that same passage in Ephesians 5, it says, Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. And you'll find that, that taking that road of laying your life down, that race to the bottom, you'll find that's actually where real joy and real happiness is in marriage. Well, now we've reached that moment where your life as you have known it will be over, but this new life, <laughs> this new and wonderful life of putting someone else in front of you, this new life that God has given you is about to begin. And by the power vested in me by the state of Idaho, and more importantly as your pastor and a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Paul, you may kiss your bride. Mr. and Mrs. Paul Yenner, let's give it up. I want to thank you guys so much for all of you coming here to experience this special moment with uh, Paul and Kinsey. Um, even though you guys are so young, you're so mature, and you have put God at the center of your marriage. And because of that, I know that your marriage will last, and it's going to be so incredible. And I'm so excited to see what God's going to do and all the adventures that you're going to have. Three giant pros, two clutch free pros, and a husband nicknamed Luffy. So you see my conundrum. I must write a derogatory speech about Mr. Wonderful. The blonde hair, 
the dimples, the smile, the hold the door open for you, always asks about your day, makes the free throws at the buzzer. I mean, just spill a glass of milk every once in a while, will you?